What's up, everybody, boys and girls? It's your girl, Shamiso, a.k.a. Shameless. And as Caddy would say, this Tuesday, we're choosing you. And welcome to Newsish, the news you never knew you knew. So in the solo edition today, the stories I have for you are Stogie T opening up to Lynn Forbes. And then we've got Diddy doing the right thing. Casper speaks on the late, a.k.a. John Legend revamps his marriage. And then Jeezy ends his. Plus, we've also got the hottest premiere, as usual. So without talking too much, let's get to it. So first up in some bittersweet news, it looks like Stogie T actually, you know, took to Instagram to write an open letter to Miss Lynn Forbes, which we know is obviously AKA's mother. He had posted a video of him and AKA performing together and just thanked um, Lynn Forbes for, you know, all her grace and the blessing that is AKA that she's given to the world. Obviously, like, she's been handling grief way better than most would expect. I mean, from what we can see, and she's also just spoken about the fact that she's always felt that she has a very big heart that accommodates a lot of people people but since losing her son she feels like there's a gaping hole there and I'm sure we can all understand so shout out to Stogie for showing some love and obviously we hope that his loved ones continue to heal and other news it looks like Diddy has actually decided to give um publishing rights publishing <laughs> publication publishing rights yes to everybody that is signed to Bad Boy. Now, Diddy's always been accused of being a bit of a shady character, stealing money from his artists. I mean, he opened the label in 1993 and it's still going. So he decided, you know what, instead of selling the catalog like I could have, because everybody seems to be selling their catalogs these days, he's like, you know what, actually, I'm gonna give everybody, uh, the writers and the artists, the rights to their own music because I feel like it's the right thing to do or whatever. And I'm sure he's just so rich where he's like, I actually don't need this, but let's not act like Diddy is a good person. <laughs> Keeping up with music news, obviously Casper recently dropped his album Solomon and it's had Twitter in a buzz and he does have a song called Candlelight that is dedicated to the late AKA where he just speaks about the fact that he was just as hurt to find out about AKA's passing as the Megacy was as well. And obviously since AKA has died, it's good to see Casper not taking any sort of you know, approach that people would usually expect from him. He's actually been very much like, you know, mourning and sad about it and also very respectful of the beef and the feud that they had. But a lot of people on Twitter felt like, you know, like maybe he's just using this as an opportunity to kind of like get hype for himself. I think it's really unfair because people always kind of doubt Casper's intentions and I don't think that's completely right. And some exciting news, it looks like John Legend, who's been with his wife Chrissy Teigen for 10 years now, they've been together for 17 and married for 10, actually went and got remarried in Lake Como where they first initially tied the knot and now they've got all those kids with them too. And it's just beautiful, it's amazing, you know, to keep it going, to make it stronger, to show that like we're still here. I want that for myself. But anyway, what I don't want for myself is the fact that Jeezy and Jeannie Mai seem to be getting a divorce and Jeezy's actually the one who filed and he says basically they have irreconcilable differences. And obviously everybody's shocked because they were so in love. Jeannie Mai didn't want kids until she met Jeezy and now they just had a child and they got married in 2021. So apparently, you know, there's rumors that there was some infidelity there from her side, but we don't know, but it's really sad news. But what is, what is good news is the fact that we have the hottest premiere, so check this out. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a baddie? On this episode of Baddies Off The Dark, we've got Ocean's Grey. Can you even get tapped as a baddie? For as long as you're still confident, for as long as you're still sexy, young. Join me, Terry Treasure, as we unpack what it means to be a baddie while jamming to some of the hottest tunes in the world. The life of a baddie. Literally. I'm seeing it <laughs> unfold right in front of me. Catch Baddies Off The Dark on the 20th of September at 10 p.m. only on MTV Base. 20 September, make sure that you check our latest cult squad member Terry Treasure on baddies I can't wait to see it and personally not personify it so the thing is guys like I'm changing like my laugh you know um, I'm praying more 10 days without like you know vibes groove alcohol anything like that and like I'm at a point where it's like Lobola needs to come within the next year or so so I don't think my man watches the show but if someone who knows him watches the show it's been three solid years and I think it's time for what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to be a baddie, I'm trying to be a wife.